Hey, what's up, guys? Warlocks will back here, and today, you know it as well as I do, we sell in that Q block. Hopefully, we get a whole bunch of dubs. Hopefully, we just do that winning thing. Over here, we hit rank one. Um, but yeah, anyways, with that being said, though, let's jump right into the first game, right, guys? I'll see y'all there. All right. Man, mages are so fucking popular. Roughly, so out of the 44 games, by the way, I've played so far as Q Block, that is a garbage hand. Uh, I just would like to point out that so far 36% of them have been mages. <laughs> Mage kind of blew up in popularity out of nowhere, and I have no idea why. I think, though, someone did report that Quest or Secret Mage was the best deck in Wild at the moment, which I think is wrong. But, oh, that feels so fucking bad. I think we can test it. That feels so fucking bad. Because that's just this turn, right? Next week you cast this turn, yeah. So that that's, like, super unfortunate for him. No secret on one. Oh, into no secret. Oh, my God, that's very unfortunate for him. Oh, that's an insane draw. Defile is going to be super big. Especially if it's another one of those. Just, like, Defile into it. The OP. But my guess is a 4-3. Oh, no. He actually did have it. Yeah, Secret Return. Play a 3 health minion. 2-3 that draws you a card. No. Okay. Uh... I'm going to just coin here and play this. But I think, yeah, let's, I mean, we test with that first. Okay, so, oh, it's dupe. Okay. I mean, it's either dupe or flame ward. Either way, it's not great for us. Play a secret. This takes two. I guess it's the two one trades into it. If nothing trades into it, that's like a super bad plan by him. In my opinion. Uh, you can block the flame ward here. For free, basically. Yeah. And now we test for counterspell. No, we can just test for counterspell. Okay. This is good. Alright. Yeah, let's just stay like this. So my guess is that means it has to be explosive runes, basically. So my plan is just going to be to punch him in the face. Because I can punch him in the face here. And then... Cubing this should proc explosive runes, I like to think this would be. Yeah. Calculated. I feel like this deck is just like straight up the hard counter to Secret Mage. Like it's just super fucking good that I don't even think you'd have to put something like Eater of Secrets in. That's fine. Draw three. That was basically just like playing an LNF that comes with a 5-5 that won't draw him cards next turn. Uh, this is Void Caller Dreadlord. No, not it's not necessarily Dreadlord, but... Best case scenario is it's Dreadlord Mistress. I think this is the right play because we can combo it with this. Uh, no Dreadlord, sadly. Uh, yeah, it was going to be basically just kill off all of his shit. Hit face, that hits there. Yeah. And I don't think he could have beat that board, basically. To be fair, I wasn't summoning another demon. But, like, I was still basically going up to... I was going back up to 27, so, like, super far ahead. Anyways, uh, with that being said, though, that's another win in the books. Let's hop right into the next one, right, guys? I'll see y'all there. Okay, so my guess is this is Zoo. Again, just assume it's always possibly your worst matchup. And Zoo would be the worst matchup, I think, for this deck. I think we beat Reno Lock fairly consistently, and we beat... Uh, I'd say I'm, like, a fairly decent cube players so i feel like i can beat most players on cube so yeah i wish i kept that dreadlord now but hey i actually wish i had both demons sense demons would be an insane draw here 
Oh, maybe it... Oh, it can still be Zoo. It can still easily be Zoo. Uh, Dark Lord doesn't necessarily play anything on turn one. Not when you can play them for free on turn three. And allow you to combo into other things. Uh, one of the big draws right now would be Defile. So I'm hoping to draw Defile here. Is this as good? Yes, but only if I have more cards in hand. It could also just be a Zoo player with a really bad draw. It's like... If it's Zoo, we know he's not playing Tiny Night of Evil here. He could play Dark Glare, but that's still a little risky for him. Um... So, yeah. I want. I need to draw one demon. Hopefully I draw Sense Demons. Sense Demons would be an insane top deck. Just because it combos so well with Void Caller. And then Vectus getting another Void Caller Death Rattle. Super big. Uh... Oh, so it is zero. One and six. I can dark skies here. I really want to tap though. Okay, we're gonna be greedy. Because we need to find a demon is the real thing. We need to have a demon in hand in order to still win this game possibly. Because, like, even if it's, like, a Void Lord, which is the weakest demon in this deck, we still just need one. Just to get some amount of value out of Void Caller. Right now, we most likely Dark Skies here, especially if he plays a 5-5. Five five. Size, Spirge, and Evil. That's huge. We can trade here and then Dark Skies. Plague of Flames would also be a ginormous fucking draw. The thing is, we don't want to. Uh, we don't want our Void Color to die when we trade, kind of. Okay, that's really good for us. Uh, unless we draw exactly Dark Skies, like that would be a huge draw here. It's not dark skies. I feel like this is the best play. Not only does it give us a doom caller in our death pool for uh Gul'dan, but it's also just like solid. He trades into this 100% here, I think. Five four plus three two. He's looking for another demon to play alongside with Kenrith still up. I think that's what he's planning. Or else, I mean, we have like some pretty favorable trades here. Especially, if, I mean, again, Plague of uh, Plague of Flames would be an insane draw here. Or even Defile. Defile would also be like huge. I think. No, there's no one health for Defile. I think he trades into Doomguard here. Yeah. It's a pretty solid plan on his part. Eight cards in hand. This brings me up to nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuck. Oh well. Looks like we have to pray that our guy survives. Nope. Yeah. Okay. I'll plan us to Vectus next turn. We have like two really, really good outcomes of the Death Rattle summon. I mean, even Mistress is like not bad, but I mean, best case scenario is still Dreadlord Void Caller with this hand. But this can test this and we gain life, which is really, really important. That's unfortunate. Worst Plague of Flames slash Broom when you need it. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Oh, I'm not dead, right? Five, eight, nine. Not quite. I'm dead to exactly Doom Guard. So there's two cards in his deck that kill me. 
And he only has one soul fire left. We know that for a fact. The one three should arguably hit my guy. Uh, I guess uh, that's fine. Okay, that's like best case scenario for me is he do this, that trade that way. That's huge. This is huge right now. Again, Soulfire, he's down to one. I guess he does have double fist. Sadly, I couldn't kill that Imp. Imp is like such a scary card in this deck because it can draw on so many cards. Right? Say if this is Soulfire and Hand of Gul'dan, he just like Soulfires here, or Soulfires here, draws four cards. Kind of insane for one mana. But I think this board might be near impossible for him to come back from. Especially if I draw Plague. If he floods the board and I draw Plague, I win the game instantaneously, basically. That's a hard cast Hand of Gul'dan. That's not pretty. I think I would have tapped first. Oh, possibly. Because tapping first would have meant like he could have drawn something to discard a card, right? That's unfortunate. Uh, is Matron a demon? Oh, it is a demon. I was thinking about Faceless thing that. Oh, that's a dirty. That was actually a really, really close game. Like, surprisingly close game, in my opinion. Um, Yeah, if we didn't draw that Sense Demons there, there was like only like two other insane draws in our deck. Anyways, uh, let's just skip the next one, right guys? I'll see y'all there. I love it when the game is not functioning properly. <laughs> uh... The file is an insane draw, as I normally say. Uh, this hand is mad though. Unless it's... If it is... A Highlander, I mean this hand is actually pretty solid because Albatross... Counters... Three really important cards in the deck in Zephyrus, Kazakus, Reno. But the rest of our hand kind of stuff against that deck. Whoa, sorry. I'm a little tired right now, not gonna lie. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I have to wake up tomorrow at 10. Set up a Christmas tree. You know. Um, but yeah. By the way, I don't think I said this yet, but I hope y'all have a drink. I got me a can of bubbly. Uh, because uh, carbonated water is actually fire. Um, okay, it's zoo. Fuck me. Ooh, Dark Space is actually the same dragon zoo, though. Uh, I'm hoping to see a Void Collar or Sense Demons next turn. Because, like, or, like, even a broomstick could be insane. I need a broomstick and a two-health minion. I need him to play a two-health minion here. Well, uh, that's super bad for us, actually. Ooh, Sense Demon's huge. Void Color's huge. Unless he plays a two-health minion here, the play is most likely just Void Color next turn. But if he plays like two health minions, don't discard anything. No salt fire one time. Let this be a huge. Oh my god, this defile is ginormous. Yeah, it's a huge defile. My guess is Matron here. The 5 5 demon there with Rush. That's what my guess is, and I get to drop this in response. Oh, not quite. Oh my god, that's so many Doom Guards we have to deal with. Ooh. I want to play this one first, because it gives me a body on the board. Like, right away. And I think this might be another game where I faceless and I have a Doom Guard to trade into a Doom Guard. That is very, very possible. Oh, that's huge, Cuck, kind of, because he has to trade both of these in now. That's huge for me. Actually, fucking ginormous. He low-rolled on that Fist of Jaraxxus, and it cost him so much. Okay. Now I'm safe to no longer tap, I think. Yeah. He mostly drops Doomguard here. 
Hopefully he discards the second Doom Guard. Discard both of these. Okay. One is fine. Uh nine cards in hand. I hand Dark Skies here, worst comes to worst, I play Broomstick to kill it. I really want to tap again. It's so greedy. YOLO. Sun Seems is huge. Okay, that's fine. That's a huge draw. I can go this into this next turn because he drops Doom Guard here to start the rest of his hand and taps. That's not what I wanted to see. That's actually the last thing I kind of wanted to see, not gonna lie. That hits there, that's at four, so I get a free trade here, basically. Beautiful. There's now there's no cards on that deck, I think, that deal one. Anyways, they have to also get through another wall of taunts that it summons. Uh, I would really like to faceless that Doom Guard if it does survive here. That's fine. I mean, best case scenario is he destroys Matron, Matron. But, I mean, if he gets a Matron, he's playing it. He's, I mean, he's actually, he had, like, the biggest things left in his deck is Double Soul Fire. Alright, that's fine for me. That's huge. That is huge. I got a Faceless here for free. I summon, I summon a demon here. Game? Game, don't do this to me. We'll be right back. We're back. No, I didn't cut out the rest of the game. My internet died. But our opponent conceded, <laughs> so we ranked up. Uh, that's actually kind of huge. I, I genuinely think we won that game for sure. We cleared his board there at the end, and uh, yeah, we would have won. So, yeah, I am sorry about that. That would have been an interesting game to at least watch the end of. But, yeah, we kind of just got cocked. Not, like, if I'm, if I'm being 100% honest, uh... Yeah, the internet fucked up. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, anyway, so uh, I think we also completed a quest here. Yeah, we completed a quest there. I don't remember what that was, but we completed it. Anyways, uh, let's just jump right into the next one. Alright, guys, I'll see y'all there. Jesus Christ, we're back to the mage grind. I swear, half of what I played against at least total is either mages or warlocks. Yeah, 57% of what I played against were mages or warlocks. Oh, that game was... The last game I just played was... Uh, it makes me so mad that I actually didn't get to finish it. I fucking... Sweet, we queued up into an instant loss. My favorite. I need to have my opponent disconnect for me to actually be able to win this one. I think. Or have a board of like 15 Void Lords. <laughs> like, one or the other. Oh, the card is so dirty right now. Because that card straight up prevented me from playing Sense Demons here without burning a card. That is what I like to call depression. Oh, I should have tapped. Yeah. But I mean, I'm playing this. Straight into there, play this. Can't even trade into it, not. Fucking blows. Okay, Vectus might actually be huge here. This is this is going to be super big. Like, basically, the turn after, I expect him to go off the place to do this. Like, have this on the field. Cube it. And then, like, plague. Like, just have, like, a wall of taunts. So this way he can't actually attack through it. A huge draw right now would be 
uh, plague. Like, plague right here is super big, so I could do this trade and then plague. Get rid of the Luna. Like, I can't deal with Luna, which is the big problem. Of course, that's what you tell Take off your Luna. I'm so sad. Like, that's so unfair. He burns a card without a punishment because his card is broken. Or his deck is broken and not fun at all to play against. Good fuck, nerd. Oh! I think that means he's playing the big version. He might be playing the Highlander version, in which case, now it might be impossible for him to win. Without Vargoth, especially through a Wall of Taunts. Plague me one time. I actually can't do anything against that. That's fine. I'll take that to be able to prevent this from happening. Uh, all right, looks like it's Sense Demon's Vectus next turn. I can't even do both, that's so depressing. I might actually just be faceless. Faceless, like just build up a wall of taunts right away. Try to prevent dying to a shitload of damage in one shot. The other problem is gonna be fucking Flame Waker. Unless this is the Highlander version, which it's starting to look like because he's only played one of every single card. Um, and how he ran out this giant knowing that he lost Vargoth. That doesn't seem like the play a regular one would have done. No, he's hitting there. I gotta poke, 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 I think. Void color is huge. Okay. Vectus, I think, is also gonna be ginormous. I'm hoping to be able to play Nazoth before he takes his extra turn. If he flame strikes, I summon this, which trades into that which i mean i'm guess i'm fine with but again the next turn is mostly this into this uh there's like so many things that has to go right for this matchup to actually be winnable in my opinion there's so much shit has to go right i guess this one man is using hero power here but that doesn't matter because i still get a trade 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 kill the giant he's left with a six six i have a five seven and then I send Siemens back this. Hopefully hitting a Void Caller to summon one of the last three taunts in my deck. Or big minions in my deck. The double sense demon draw is actually insane. This is a stressful game. I fucking hate this matchup so much. I feel like I have to plan like my moves 15 turns ahead. In order to win this game. And most of the time it doesn't actually matter. Because he just does dumb shit that's arguably unfair. I need to drop Plague. There's no way I'm able to deal with this board without Plague. Fuck. I just don't straight up have enough mana for that. Please don't tell me I burn a card. I don't think I do. Right? No. Okay, thank god. Oh, that's actually kind of big too. That's also really big, because now they no longer die to hero powers. My guess is what's happening is going to be hit, hit, hit hero power. That's my guess. Oh. that's an, So it's 100% now the Highlander version. Um. Oh, why did he not want to just hero power there? I feel like not hero powering there is like a huge mistake. Uh, how do I kill this now? This heals me for four. Hmm. 
trying to figure out how to defile to kill that, and I don't know if I can. Oh wait, I can by doing this, right? Yep, this allows me to defile to kill that. Alright, one, two, three. Fuck, there's no four. Fuck. I have to keep that alive as a four. That was a huge misplay by me. Okay. Sadly, that's how it had to be. I had to throw away a faceless, and now I might just be dead here. To giant conjurer's calling. To giant giant conjurer's calling. Yeah. Conjurer's calling. Take an extra turn. Even though the wrong one, because he could have low rolled on there and not hit two eight power minions. But he did. It's 24, let me guess you have the fireball. If he would have hit this, I think he was guaranteed either a seven or eight power minion. At eight cost, there's so many garbage minions that he could have hit. So like the play he did was fucking terrible, but it just doesn't matter because the deck is oppressive and there's nothing you can do to beat that deck. I generally think this is the best deck in Wild. I think it might even be better than, um... I think this deck is actually better than Secret, or, um... Raza Priest. 100%, I think Quest Mage is better than Raza Priest. It's more consistent. You just kill people on turn 5, through taunts, through everything. Raza Priest at least takes 15 turns to kill someone. Oh, I fucking despise that deck with a burning fucking passion. It's just so fucking skillless. Oh, it's just depressing. Alright, we have time for one more, so I'll just queue it up. Hopefully it's not an quest mage. If it does, I just instantly hit the escape concede. I don't want to be tilted. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Uh, why? Hey, we played against this guy already tonight. Oh, oh is this the guy we... J I don't think this was the guy we just played against. I fucking hope it's not. If it's quest mage, I'm gonna fucking rip my eyeballs out. But I'm pretty sure we played against Monkey Bear. I remember reading Monkey in someone's name. Uh, this sounds fairly good. Okay, it's not Quest Mage. Thank fucking Jesus. By the way, I don't know how his Quest Mage ever beats any aggro deck. Just, I just want to point that out there. I don't think his deck beats any aggro deck. It takes way too much setup. You have to cast Emperor and wait a turn after your Emperor. There's no way that deck can actually beat aggro decks. I go face here because he either has to choose to trade, or I get a trade next turn, healing all four health. I mean, it doesn't matter if I deal damage to him, but... Hmm. I didn't think of this through. I mean, I kind of did. Well, that was the worst sense demons I could have possibly had. Of course, it's draw three. Uh, Secret Mage is fair and balanced when they have a good draw, huh? Now I'm just complaining about everything because so I'm super tilted off that Quest Mage game. Like, genuinely fucking tilted. I hate that feeling of there was nothing I could have done better in the game. And that's a genuinely- Oh, I should have fucking Dark Skized. Should have 100% Dark Skized. Now I take 11 damage for free. And I have a 50% chance of summoning a Void Collar. That was super retarded of me. I lost myself the game because he has a double fireball in hand. I don't have a two health thing, right? Not having a two health thing is fucking me here. This is why you do that first. Okay. 
I got a free tap in. Hopefully he doesn't have the second fireball. So I'm able to face this, this. Put it out of fireball range. Do I believe that's explosive runes? It's making me think it's flame ward. Is it flame ward? Did he really just slam a flame ward like this? Oh, do I believe his telegraph of flame ward or do I think it's an explosive runes? Uh, it's explosive runes, I get cocked. Okay, you can stop fucking emoting. I know you have the second fireball, but you have the second best possible fucking curve in your deck. Shut the fuck up, you cunt. <laughs> Where's the Cloud Prince top deck? I love it when they just draw the best card in their deck. Couple turns too late there, bud. Oh, it's counterspell. Yeah, I had to test with that there. And he rolls the secret. There is six secrets left in his deck. He had both fireballs on turn five. Can the mage class die and go away, please? <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever seen a single class be so meta warping. I don't. I generally don't think Raza Priest is nearly as big of a problem as the current mage. Again, when we just look at stats, forty percent of games I've played have been mage. Only twenty percent have been priest, and roughly half of those are big priest and half of those are Raza Priest. Like, people really need to stop bitching about priests. Anyways, I'm way too tilted to continue. Uh, I'm actually willing to get a little bit more tilted by buying two packs. Uh, Alright, let's get a little bit more tilted, why not? I'm ready for the two rares, four commons. Let's go, boys. Uh, anyways, uh, before I head out, I'd just like you guys to tell me down below what decks you guys would like to see. Um, yeah. Oh, it's a terrible card. Oh, it's a terrible card. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd just like to see what what decks you guys would like to see on the ch well next on the channel. Um, I genuinely just don't know what the fuck to play. I was thinking about maybe playing Mill Rogue, but I don't know how popular that would be. Or playing, I don't know. I don't know what else. Basically, just don't tell me a Warlock deck. Tell me any deck that's not Warlock. And, uh, I'll see what I can do, basically. Even tell me Warlock decks, I'll, I can, like, take them into consideration for next time. So, yeah, anyways, with all that being said, though, I hope y'all guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed me getting tilted to Mage, because that class is fucking everywhere and is brain dead, uh, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, for more Hearthstone content, because, you know, that's basically all I upload. I'm going to start streaming other games. Like, I might start streaming... My friends want to get into playing the new Call of Duty, but I'm utter trash at it. So if you want to watch someone uh, who can aim play a shooter game, I might stream some COD, might stream some Minecraft, might stream some Overwatch, just might stream, like, other games in general. Anyways, with that being said, though, I hope you all guys enjoyed the video. Rep the gang, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys? Peace.